Hi, I claim that pi is zero, and let's get into a so-called proof of this result. So what I'm going to do is start by considering this function f of x, and that's simply going to be inverse tan of x plus inverse tan of 1 over x. Now what I'm going to do is just differentiate both sides, so f prime of x. Now what the inverse tan of x, that just differentiates to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then what about inverse tan of 1 over x? Well, I can just use the chain rule here. So this is going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over x goes there squared. And then I need to multiply by the derivative of 1 over x, which is just minus 1 over x squared. And so if I simplify this, the first guy is going to stay the same. And the second guy, well, I can bring the minus to the front. And I've got 1 over x squared times 1 is x squared. And 1 over x squared times x squared is 1. But these two guys are the same fraction. So that's just going to be 0. So f prime of x is 0, but then that just means that f of x must be a constant function. So it's just some constant value. How can we work out that constant value? Well, we can just plug in a value of x. So I'm going to plug in x is 1. And so if I plug that in, I get inverse tan of 1, which is pi over 4, plus inverse tan of 1 again. So that's pi over 4 again, and that's pi over 2. Great. But what happens if we plug in minus 1 instead? Well, we get inverse tan of minus 1, and well, that's minus pi over 4. And if you plug in minus 1 again into here, you get another minus pi over 4. And so that gives you minus pi over 2. And so therefore, pi over 2 equals minus pi over 2. And so then adding pi over 2 on both sides, I get pi equals 0. And there is my proof. Let me know in the comments down below if you spotted the mistake here. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.